Hello to my YouTube followers and friends. I just wanted to get on here and talk about these things that they are doing in Congress and the Senate. It seems like they're just trying to dangle a check over your head. Give you false hope. You know, it's like they know election is coming along. So, they're just going to try to feed you bullshit. You know, I hate to say it, but, you know, it's, it's, something's not right. And I think it's time for us to stand up and say something about it, for real. Like, we've been quiet for way too long. Yeah, we stood up when a, a black man got shot. We all did. We all stand up. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Doesn't matter what color is your skin. What you look like doesn't matter. You all matter. But what I'm saying is... We've taken too much bullshit, people. Okay? This is me trying to be on a serious note. I'm actually considering on not voting this year just to send a message. And I think all people should do that. You know what I mean? And then the move after that, you should march on Washington. You know? Because this, this is not right, what we're going through. You know? We, they allowed a virus to come to us. We're unprotected. They opened our borders. And you know what I mean? I do see that Trump tried to you know, stop that by making some kind of wall. But you know what I mean? I don't know. It's like some things still ain't right. It's like also they're trying to deliberately destroy your currency, by the way, by just keep printing up money and, like, you know what I mean, giving it out like it's water. You know, of course, this uh, virus stuff is hurting a lot of people. So, you know, there's a lot of people that's like losing their homes, uh, going bankrupt, um, actually living in their cars, like, you know what I mean? Homeless stuff. And it's like, dude, they're not listening. They're not listening to us. They're not. And it's ridiculous that they're not listening. Like, come on, really. How much more are we going to take? How much more can you take before you say, okay, enough's enough. We need to take a look at our establishment. Because things are not right. Okay? I just worry about, you know, this beautiful country. You know? Our founders would be fucking flipping right now in their graves. They are freaking out probably right now because of how much we've let these people take our rights and destroy our liberties. And, you know, it's kind of sad when a, uh, the people fear the government. There's tyranny, massive tyranny. And there's a lot of people that fear the government today. But when the government fears the people, that's liberty, that's freedom, that's peace. You know what I'm saying? We can send a message with our voices. They must be heard. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. We put up with way too much. We was known as the richest country in the world at one time. Now look at us. We're a laughing joke of, like, the whole... I mean, you know what I mean? We're a joke. We're in debt. What happened? You know what happened? They they managed to take your gold from you and then sell it back to you with paper. That's ridiculous. Because what's the price of one ounce coin? Go look that up. What, like probably maybe 1700 bucks now? May, I don't know. I haven't checked in a while, so don't quote me on that. I'm just saying that's a, a range of where it's been going. So that should, like, that should show you that they're definitely doing something they're not supposed to be doing. And it's, it's not right. You know, we're leaving our children this. You know what I mean? Like, we're leaving this behind for them. Is this what you want for your kids? Like, their future? What's next? We had coronavirus this year. What's next? You know? What do they have planned there? You know? 
They've been saying conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy for like years. But now things are starting to look a little more broader and you can see everything unfolding. Because these the events was supposed to happen. These events was supposed to be, they were predicted. This stuff's been going on for the last 20 years. Since Bush. They've been using the same tactics. Stimulus. Oh, we got a burst in the bubble. That means uh, what? What? Uh, we're under a recession. Bush sent out stimulus checks. Believe it or not, during tax season. Go look that up. Everybody got a stimulus check. <clears throat> Even Obama sent uh, stimulus checks out to the people that vote for him. Not everybody got one though, because there we was under a recession. Now look at us. This is not just a recession. This is like fucked. This is the worst. And we're allowing it. We're just sitting back and letting them take control, baby. Because they got their hands on the wheel. It's not right. We're people. We don't deserve to be treated like that. We deserve more. So, you know, I think you should stand up for your rights. Because if you don't, and you don't know them, they got you. Unfortunately. These people has been at work for years. Most, uh, some of the most smartest minds can even, like, there's good ones, and then there's bad ones. What would you do if the bad ones were running your country right now? You know what I mean? They have a plan for something. It's weird, but they got a real plan. And I keep hearing about this FRID chip over and over and over again. It's crazy. So, like, they started out putting it in our pets. And I know you remember this. They are trying to chip you. They're getting rid of paper currency altogether. But there's a way to fix this if we, like, we got a small window. And it's whoever the next president is, for real. We got that much time. So, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, if you're going to start a revolution, now's the time. Now is the time. Because you can't always be fearful of a government, of what they know, and now how much power they have. They need you to survive. Realize that. It's time for a voice to stand up. Just a voice. No violence. Show no anger. If they f get nervous enough with us standing there with signs and just saying, we want to know what's really going on with y'all, like for real, this time we're not joking. Because it states in the Constitution, and it does state this, when a government becomes out of control of liberty, peace, and freedom, it is up to the people and by the people to either establish a new government or abolish it completely. Bang, bang. There's your right. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.